Hey guys, it's Brandon here from BDogBZ, and today I have a review on the High Shop UCO Skinny Bumper for the iPhone 4. After using this case for around a week and a half, I found that I much prefer it to the Apple Bumper for its looks, usability, and accessories included. So let's just go ahead and take a look around the case here. On the top here, you do have a dedicated button for the sleep wake button and a rather small headphone jack cutout. On the side, there is a nice size cutout for the vibrate switch and dedicated tactile buttons for the volume buttons. On the bottom, there's an individual cutout for the speakers and a slimline cutout for the 30 pin connector. Now, the nice thing about this case is that it sits flush with the iPhone 4. This is relative to both the screen and the back. Now, conventionally, I would usually prefer some type of lip and or lay on the table design. However, because of the included accessories, you really don't have to worry about the screen or the back scratching. Additionally, with this seamless design, it's really hard to tell that there's a case on the phone. So let's just go ahead and get into the pros and cons here. The first thing I like about this product is the slimness. As I say in all my reviews, I love the native design of the iPhone 4. In this case, it does not stray far from that. The second thing I like about this product is the firm grip it has on the phone. A problem I had with the official Apple bumper is that it would always slip off my phone. There is no such problem with this case. The third thing I like about this case is that it has stayed its original color and has not stained from debris. Now the last thing I like about this product is the material used. I found that it's not too flimsy but still protects your phone quite well. Now there are two small cons I found with this case. One, because of the small headphone jack, most headphones would not work with this case on. Specifically, my Beats Solos were not compatible. The last thing I didn't like is the fact that it could be quite hard to take off. I love the grip that it offers but it needs to be able to be taken off seamlessly with no hassle. But overall, if you're looking for a slim case that you can use on a consistent basis, I think this might be the case for you. With the added accessory and the right price point, this is an excellent option. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this case a strong 9 out of 10. If you like this review, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash bdog underscore bz. And thank you for watching this video.